this is a coin and this and this is the same coin in thermal with a macro lens made from a CO2 laser focus lens. The interesting part starts when I turn the lights off. Because as you see now, uh, if I can find it again, under the thermal, you can still see because I'm radiating heat and the coin reflects it. But let us turn the light on again. <laughs> and now go for a little demonstration. Because as you see, left and right, I have some clamps and some heating wire under the coin. And now, just for fun, we're gonna take a look how it um, changes. But let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So now I'm gonna turn the current up. We're now at 7 volts, 10 volts, and as you can see the heating wire below the Oh, it's getting a little bit too hot. There was some smoke. And as you can see, uh, the heating wire is getting a lot hotter than the coin itself, uh, ruining the contrast here a little bit. But if I turn it on a little bit again, we're just gonna let that heat a little bit up till the coin has a good temperature. We are back at the coin. It should be hot enough by now. And now I'm gonna turn the heating wire off. It still stays warm for a while. Oh, the, the, the clamps, look at the clamps. They also got hot. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, that's the wire here. Oh yeah. So I changed the setup a bit. Uh, now we are focused on the date on the coin. And now I'm gonna turn up the heating wire below the coin. Now the coin should uh, slowly be heating up and while it heats up uh, we should be able to get maybe better contrast. Uh, let's give it a little bit more power. 10 volts at 0.4 amps. We can see in the lower edges it's getting hotter and if you take a look at the, at the date on the coin, we're starting to get way better contrast on the numbers there. Uh, I can turn off the big light for a second. And as you can see in the big camera, um, <laughs> it's completely dark. But the infrared camera has absolutely no problem. Uh, seeing the coin and the heating wire. Let me now use my hand to generate a beam of uh, a long wave infrared. And as you can see, I can use just just my hand as a radiation a thermal radiation source to shine on the coin. 
but now let us crank up the voltage a little bit more and see where this goes because at a certain point we should theoretically see the ah there it goes maybe the big camera now sees something too no 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 it should see the glowing oh yeah and it starts smoking i'm better turn it down again so now let me turn the light on again So that was quite interesting. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, the wires um, started to glowing. Maybe let's do this with the light on again. Yeah, there you can see. Yeah, that that concludes um, my testing. Uh, I wanted to see if a cheap CO2 laser lens uh, can be used uh, as a macro lens for a thermal camera and it looks like it works pretty nice. I'm gonna turn it now off again here before it starts poking again.